So, Mahipal ji, please tell us something about yourself. Uh, sir, uh, I am Mahipal Singh Gujar from Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. I have done my schooling in uh, Gwalior itself. Uh, then I went to Kerala for my graduation in B.Sc. Honours Agriculture in Kerala Agriculture University, Trishur, Manuti. After that, I had given uh, ICR entrance for uh, uh, this uh, master's and I had joined IRA PUSA for uh, master's in plant breeding and genetics. And uh, I completed it in 2018 and I, I got selected in 2019 UPSC CSC. And right now I am working as uh, assistant operation manager in uh, Lucknow division of Northern Railway. Uh, I'm interested in uh, painting and uh, I do Bhangra also whenever I get the chance. Okay, okay, fantastic. So you got selected in the uh, uh, railway tra traffic service basically yes, at yes, that sir. time. Yes. So what is this change of services which the railways has affected now and what, is, what are your comments about it? What do you think? Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? How has it uh, affected you? Sir, the change that is being uh, made is that uh, leaving the IRPS, that is uh, police and the doctor, uh, the medical services in railways, all other services of railways will be merged into Indian Railway Management Services. And uh, coming to the uh, its effect on the organization, sir, the uh, main objective of this said reform is to tackle the uh, issue of departmentalism in railways. And uh, as far as I am, uh, my own career is concerned, sir, I think that uh, uh, if that reform comes to fruition, and it has already, uh, the uh, intent has already been given, so if that thing comes into picture, then I think I'll be getting more diverse uh, area to work. Okay, so sir. why is the IRPS not included in this? Sir, so that is uh, something which is being decided by the ministry. So I'm not much aware no reasons, of. You don't know. No, sir. I'm not aware of. So you are a generalist. You have entered the Indian uh, railway traffic service as a generalist. So there are mechanical engineers, there are electrical engineers, there are people from the SCRA. How do you think they will merge together and uh, uh, who will do the mechanical engineering job, who will do the civil engineering job? How will it work, basically, at the beginning, how will it work? I can understand that once you reach the top, it's fine, yes, you are a general manager. But sir, sir uh, actually, uh, at, at the present situation, uh, the scenario is not full clear. That is how they are going to divide uh, the people who will be recruited. So, uh, as far as uh, we are concerned, we know that the services is being merged. But then the other things like how the training will be done, how these uh, people will be given different uh, different uh, 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 roles in within the organization, that is still not clear, sir. So, sir, I'm unable to comment on that. What about recruitment? Engineers are being recruited to the UPSC engineering services exam. People are coming in from the SCRA. You are coming through the UPSC civil services exam. How will the recruitment continue like this? Sir, engineering, uh, for railways, that engineering services will be merged into Indian Railway Management Services. And now they have uh, decided the uh, streams also, uh, uh, the streams who can apply for Indian Railway Management Services. And it primarily uh, consists of engineers and then uh, c c people from commerce background. So uh, the idea behind this reform is that uh, uh, the thinking in the higher echelons is this that uh, they are uh, uh, taking railway more of as a technical organization and uh, the thinking is this that ki technical people can be trained in administration uh, roles and that will go give us dual benefit of uh, their technical knowledge as well as uh, being trained into administration, they'll be able to take care of other uh, jobs also. Uh, technical people are in any case, they get, as they keep on rising in seniority, they keep on getting administrative experience and they are trained in uh, administrative roles. They are getting mechanically, all the engineering services people are being posted as DR engineers. Then, so they learn administration. Sir. So how can they train, do, do it by just make, merging the services together? 
Sir, again, those nitty gritties are still not clear, so I am unable to comment on that part. What, are the, what are the views in the railway officers? Sir, there are different views in railways officers. The majority of officers are supporting the reform, but uh, uh, there are certain officers who take it as, uh, um, uh, who are uh, pitching for the, for increasing the, uh, 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 the qualification of people who can apply for IRMS. Uh, officers are supporting IRMS. The only thing that they are pitching for is that we should increase the, uh, qualifica uh, the qualifications that have been already decided. Because, for example, at present they are uh, considering only uh, only engineers and uh, co people with commerce background. So those railway traffic officers uh, are of the view that uh, this uh, this uh, area should be widened uh, of recruiting people. Okay. Sir. Thank you. All right, my pal. That's your name, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so, my pal, tell me, you know, let's take you to another aspect of railways, yeah? Yes, the historical side of it, right? Sure. When were the railways introduced in India? Ma'am, it was uh, introduced uh, at the time of Lord Dalhousie, and he is known as the father of Indian railways. Uh, okay, so tell me, did railway play a role in the history of modern India? And uh, in the freedom movement, and if so, how? Yes, ma'am. Uh, sure. There were two aspects uh, how the historians have looked uh, at the railways. The first thing is that the introduction of railways as such was something which uh, led to the development of theory of uh, this economic drain theory, because the layout of railways was uh, not to increase the integrity, though. It, it was the, uh, we can say that the additional benefit that Indians have reaped from railways. But that layout of railways made the uh, Indian uh, leaders aware of the uh, intentions of British, Britishers. And the other thing that we have very creatively used railways is that the leaders use railways to reach out to uh, every nook and corner of this country. So railways in a way uh, gave them big opportunity to reach out for example a leader from north india can go to south india and interact with people and peop uh, that also increased the movement of people within the nation so uh, that led to the socio economic integration of the whole nation and that is how it played a role uh, in the so economy you can say it led to unification in a way yes ma'am sure okay all right okay okay have you the railways also has some you know uh, very high-end, um, you know, luxury uh, yes, um, tourist attractions. Yes, sir. What are these? Um, first, that we have these luxury trains in itself. These are, for example, Maharaja train, which is owned by Rajasthan uh, Tourism Department along with Indian Railways. And besides this, we have. Uh, uh, Ma'am, you, you were asking about luxury trains. Mm. Besides this, we have this these specific routes on which we uh, run those trains, uh, which are meant for tourists only. For example, uh, this uh, we run our train in uh, Karnataka with open dome. That is to reap the benefits of uh, natural beauty that we are end on with, and at the same time increase the economic benefits of railways by uh, attracting more foreigners, okay, tourists. Right. Okay. Yes. Where is Maharaja ranked in the world? What, what is the ranking? Uh, I am not aware of that ma'am. I okay, never... It has a very solid ranking and it mm. keeps varying in the first five. Sometimes it's at the top mm. also. So please read up. Sure. Uh, now there's a similar uh, uh, going from railways to you know inland waterways, right? Mm -hmm. uh, something has been introduced um, by way of a river cruise. Are you aware of it? Uh, yes, ma'am. This Ganga cruise has been introduced. So from where to where? It is from Varanasi to uh, 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 some point in northeast. I'm forgetting. Dibrugarh. Dibrugarh. Yeah. Yes, so okay, all right. Are there any concerns regarding the river cruise? Anything related to environment or river life? 
Yes, ma'am. There are many concerns, uh, not only related to river cruise, but also related to the waterway that we are uh, developing. That is uh, related. Uh, that is re that relates to the uh, first thing is uh, the kind of uh, noise that these vehicles, these ships, mm -hmm. are going to produce mm -hmm. uh, above water. That is uh, that is thought to be affecting uh, gangetic dolphins. And at the same time, for uh, for uh, for making this. Water uh, cruise, uh, water cruise or water transport beneficial. We have to make certain changes to our river beds, and that is uh, thought that is a potential threat to the okay. uh, biodiversity of rivers. Good, yeah, yeah. All right, just one quick question. Uh, you heard of the Jan Vishwas bill? Jan Vishwas bill? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm sorry. All right. Okay, my pal. Sir. All well? Yes, sir. All set? Yes, sir. We have already qualified uh, an important exam in the UPSC, so you must be feeling a little confident about it. Sir. Okay. Have you heard about India's uh, neighborhood first policy? Yes, sir. Can you just uh, basic elements of this policy? Sir, I know in general if ah, there are yes. some specific points. Sir, in general, uh, it is the policy of uh, Indian uh, government to uh, to prioritize uh, the needs of its neighborhood uh, in its foreign policy so as to integrate the South Asian uh, uh, subcontinent in particular and then Southeast Asia also. So, sir. So, do you think, uh, uh, how would you rate it in terms of failure or success? of the uh, neighborhood first policy or in simpler words how do you rate our relations with the neighboring countries at this point of time sir i think we are doing uh, we are doing quite well uh, especially from uh, the perspective of india we have uh, we are trying everything to help our neighbors but there are certain internal issues of our neighbors in which we cannot play uh, much role because they are of their own making. For example, the economic crisis in uh, Sri Lanka, then uh, these political issues in uh, Bangladesh, and uh, then in Nepal also, and then Pakistan is altogether a different case. So whatever, uh, we have tried everything in our uh, own capacity to help our neighbors in dire situations. How serious is the China factor in our neighborhood? Uh, yes, sir, that is one of the factors which uh, keeps our neighbor a uh, bit off the table because uh, China has got this uh, capital with it. So, these nations do not want to miss out on it. So, that makes them a bit uncomfortable in the situation where both uh, India and China are trying to woo them. And so. uh, the capital power that you said, they have money. Yes. Uh, this has led to a particular situation. Sir. Uh, what is that? Sir, it is called debt trap. Debt trap. Uh, how many countries have suffered? Such one, one glaring example in our neighborhood. It is Sri Lanka, sir. Okay. Now, coming to your railways, um, just a couple of uh, things which keep bothering my mind. Sir. <coughs> this is the. Uh, Privatization of railways. What are your views about it? <clears throat> to what extent can we go and where should we stop? Thus far and no further. Uh, uh, so the privatization of railways uh, is needed because uh, there is huge need of infrastructure uh, sp uh, spending in railways, which cannot be done by railways themselves. So that is the uh, that is the uh, motivation that we are going for privatization. Uh, but at the same time, uh, there are certain social obligations of Indian railways. So that cannot, that we do not feel that uh, private, we are not confident that private parties will take care of. So as far as those social obligations and also the security obligations of our nations are concerned, these are the areas which should not be given to the private parties. But other than that, the pure commercial uh, undertakings of railways can be very well privatized, sir. So limited, restricted and limited privatization. Yes, sir. This yes, is sir. what you would endorse. Sir. Fine. 
Okay, uh, <clears throat> Maipal, I have heard about situational comedy, I have also heard about stand-up comedy. What is this observational comedy? Sir. Gwalier ka jo sangeet gharana, what famous is it? Please tell me. ग्वालियर का संगीत घराना मोस द्रुपद गायकी के लिए बहुत मशहूर है और द्रुपद गायक की उसके अलावा ग्वालियर में ये तानसेन हुए थे जो बहुत बड़े संगीतकार हैं वो अकबर के नवरत्नों में से भी एक थे उसके साथ साथ ग्वालियर में सूफी संगीत भी बहुत फेमस है ये सर ग्रीन बिल्डिंग और स्मार्ट बिल्डिंग में क्या डिफरेंस है ग्रीन बिल्डिंग का मतलब है कि उस उस बिल्डिंग का जो कार्बन फुटप्रिंट है वो बहुत कम है स, आ, लेकिन स्मार्ट बिल्डिंग का मतलब है कि वो टेक्नोलॉजी का यूज़ करके बहुत सारे ऐसे प्रोसीजर्स जो आ, मानव के मानव को करने चाहिए वो हम स्मार्टली करते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल कि अगर हम टैप के नीचे हाथ लगा रहे तो टैप अपने आप चालू हो जाता है अपने आप बंद हो जाता है तो वो स्मार्ट बिल्डिंग का एग्जाम्पल है आप रेलवे में एक अधिकारी हैं क्या भारत को रियल में भी बुलेट ट्रेन की रिक्वायरमेंट है सर भारत को आ, हाँ मैं कहता हूँ बुलेट ट्रेन की ज़रूरत है बुलेट ट्रेन की ज़रूरत ये एक फ्यूचरिस्टिक स्टेप है इंडियन रेलवेज का फ्यूचरिस्टिक मैं इसको इसलिए कहता हूँ क्योंकि जैसे हम आ, अभी हम जो आगे देख रहे हैं वो पाँच ट्रिलियन डॉलर इकोनमी और उसके फर्दर अब तो छब्बीस ट्रिलियन डॉलर इकोनमी की हम बात करने लग गए तो अगर वो चीज़ें हमें अचीव करनी है तो हमें सर्विसेज गुड्स ह्यूमन बीइंग्स जो भी इकोनॉमी के बेसिक इनपुट्स होते हैं उनको बहुत स्पीड में और बहुत जल्दी जल्दी पूरे देश में फैलाना होगा उस केस में बुलेट ट्रेन बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि जो मैन आर्स बुलेट ट्रेन सेव करेगी उसके बावजूद उसके अलावा जो एक चीज़ है कि कोई भी टेक्नोलॉजी जब हम इंट्रोड्यूस करते हैं तो उस टेक्नोलॉजी के कुछ पॉजिटिव्स जो होते हैं वो रिस्क के नीचे भी आते हैं जिसको ट्रिकल डाउन थियरी हम कहते हैं तो अगर बुलेट ट्रेन हम लाते हैं तो ऐसी कई सारी टेक्नोलॉजीज भारत में आएंगी जो इसकी जो कन्वेंशनल रेलवेज है उसको भी इम्प्रूव करेंगी सर फॉर एग्ज़ाम्पल सिग्नलिंग सिस्टम ट्रैक ट्रैक की जो गुणवत्ता होती हैं वो तो ये सारी जो टेक्नोलॉजीज हैं ये हमारी कन्वेंशनल रेलवेज को भी हेल्प करेंगी तो बुलेट ट्रेन एक पर्टिकुलर फिर दूसरा क्वेश्चन आता है कि बुलेट ट्रेन इतनी महंगी है कैसे सस्टेनेबल होगी तो सर पहले हम इंट्रोड्यूस करेंगे धीरे धीरे और कोई भी अगर इकोनॉमिक मार्केट में आता है तो वो हवा में प्राइस डिसाइड नहीं करता है दे ऑलवेज सी दिस डिमांड डिमांड एंड सप्लाई थियरी सो इफ दे डिसाइड द प्राइस अकॉर्डिंगली एंड इट विल भी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी and uh, indirectly it will improve the indian railways also so it will help in that way also okay. thank you sir to my pal ji aap apne aap ko how do you rate yourself how much uh, do you assess eight okay, okay. eight sir eight okay, very good so how much did you get in your last interview 779 179 is a very good score That's sir, perfect thank uh, you sir it's thank excellent you. So when is the interview now? Sir, it will be announced in February. It is not. You got plenty of time. Sir. So um, uh, I think you've already been through an interview. You've been selected on the basis of it, and you've already got very good marks. Sir. So you will do well again. Thank you. You are sir. perfectly all right. The only thing is you can put a little more energy. Sir. In your uh, reply when you're replying. Sir. And I would suggest that, and you can also you know keep looking at other board members when you are. answering a particular member for um, uh, so you can keep everybody engaged in the board you will sure. score much more because sure. they'll all be combining together to give you marks sir if you are friend i think you'll do very fairly, fairly well thank you sir I thank you very much to my pal i think you're quite coherent and you know very lucid and articulate in the way you you know frame your replies and any of the cuff questions also you address them you know quite nicely and uh, so you know we didn't ask you a lot of things about the budget and kerala and i was seeing face painting so just on art itself there can be so many you know cubist movement and this and that so mm. again kerala kathakali jo face painting hai somebody can you know really take you far ahead on that budget very important because anyway your date has not come so budget by then would have become a little stale mm -hmm. but then 
good to know you know because yes, where yes. our money is coming from where it's being spent so chenab bridge i thought you know somebody will ask you but nobody did uh, uh, um, civil engineering marvel doesn't yes, it is the highest railway railway is yes some railways is king yeah, yeah. it is ubrl yeah. ubrl so bridge. again gwalior a whole lot of questions you know can come so mm, yes, uh, just you know kind of uh, prepare maharaja is sometimes ranked as number 1 in the world and abhi i think this time in 2022 shayad number 2 ya 3 pe aa gaye the par lijiyega i'll look you into know, that 